since I'm flying into DC, I'm really not certain about these. I called the police department to get some answers and they were telling me all sorts of stuff. So I'm just gonna pack up the magazines like so, so they don't make so much noise in the box. I got 250 rounds of 223, I got 250 rounds of nine, and then all the magazines I'm gonna take with me. I'll probably put a couple extra things in here. I'm gonna send this ahead to the hotel so it's there when I get there. If it's not, we're gonna have a big problem, but hey, fingers crossed. I was watching a video on flying and it said like have somebody else check to make sure your weapons are unloaded but this is my check recording it so p320 x compact nothing in the chamber no magazine in there unloaded x5 nothing in the chamber no magazine unloaded rifle tough with the light nothing in the chamber no magazine unloaded so that's my final check i'm using these for master locks and i'm gonna be ready to go so i'm only flying with the guns i don't have any ammo i don't have any magazines i sent that ahead and i'm still curious as what i'm gonna do here i have this duffel where i can close that bottom compartment with the plate carrier and the belt and then that's probably the most secure piece of luggage that i have so I'm probably going to go with this. I don't think I have anything else that would suffice for now. So we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed. Okay, like I said, I got all my gear on the bottom of this rolling duffel here. And I got, because I have the clamps, I have these clamps down here. So when I close this in here, which I can't do one-handed, but when I close this, if that gear gets out, somebody took it out. No other way around it. So I think I'm gonna use this one. It's the best It's the best option that I have. All right, I got to the airport like three hours early, maybe a little less, just so that I didn't have any problems. There's the luggage, one, two. Let's go get checked in. Hope it all goes smooth. Super, super simple process here at the airport. Uh, this is not the busiest airport. It's not like a Newark or a Houston or Denver or whatever. None of those major airports. The other side, coming home, will be. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a two-part video or not. But uh, I went to the counter because you can't check in ahead of time. You can't go to the curbside check-in. You have to go to a regular counter. And I said I needed to declare some firearms. I had the two bags the other one weighed 50 pounds on the dot with my plate carrier and all that other stuff I threw my clothes in there just to make it so I don't have a ton of stuff on my carry-on and then I signed the declaration I read over the rules although I'd read them numerous times prior in doing my research and getting all the information possible uh, I opened the case for her the agent she put the declaration tag in there closed it locked it in her presence we got an escort over to the end of all the ticket counters where a TSA agent met us and I opened the case again and he looked inside and he didn't ask me if anything was unloaded. I don't, you know, he didn't take anything out to examine it. So they're just going based on my word. Um, but he felt like around all the empty spots in the foam and was looking for anything that might be hidden. I think I heard him say, this is a really nice case, but nevertheless. Uh, so it's on the plane. I'll get a text alert when the bag is on the plane. I think the plane is coming from Newark, so it will be a little bit. So I have a lot of time to kill. I brought some lunch with me, and I'll probably end this video when I get the case at Dulles. So we'll pick it up there. I don't think my bag survived. I don't remember it flexing that much, but all the contents are here. And TSA searched it, which I figured they would. The plate carrier and the belt in there, holster, all that jazz. So, I'm just waiting for the guns. All right, one bag made it, no problems. 
couple of scuffs as expected. That bag did not make it. Let's go check in. Now I'm at Dulles, uh, time to go home. I was gonna end the video before, but we're gonna do one more check-in process because this time I do have ammo and magazines with me. We'll see if it's any different than coming here. Hopefully not. It's a bigger airport, more stuff going on. Let's hope it goes smooth. I'm back home now. It's almost two in the morning. I gotta be at work in like five hours. But f flying with firearms was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. The United reps knew exactly what to do and how to do it. It were, really wasn't delayed at all. Um, at Dulles, I didn't even have to open the case for TSA. They put it through a security scanner and that was it. So super, super simple process. I stressed, I mean, it's important to stress, but now I know what to expect and it'll be a lot easier. That's going to do it. I'm exhausted. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.